Hello everyone, this is Roland Jung from We are just back from the Hanover Messe and we could see a lot of interesting things. One of the things that really interests me the most is this portion here. Um, in my case, I focused on this particular portion here, which is the fabrication of the panel. So really the build of the panel, which we all undergo. Uh, in any industry, we once have to build our control panel. And here, what this represents is pretty much the uh, different steps that we do undergo, the panel modification, the labeling, the mechanical, and uh, the wiring process. And, and interestingly here is we have seen a way to reduce this delivery time of 37%. Now it seems that they split the work in two, but let's study and let's understand how this works. Now to get going, I will actually start with this small presentation here just to talk a little bit more about the benefits of routing uh, uh, the wires before um, we actually start the manufacturing process. For this, we have to understand the manufacturing process as it is today. Uh, it consists of a couple of different steps, uh, primarily a mechanical assembly and then the wiring. In, 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 in other words, uh, what we typically do is we cut ducts and rails, we have to assemble all the components once we get them, and once we are there, then we can actually uh, conceive and understand uh, the length of the wires because we actually evaluate the length based on this assembly. And as this is done, we do the wiring itself. Now, what does the wiring consist of? And this is why I'm actually asking you to rethink this a little bit. Let's talk about the wiring itself. Now, everyone knows we have to first, once we know the length, we have to cut, we have to strip. Um, most of the time, people will do this manually. In some cases, as we know, we can actually have some semi-automatic machines there. But interestingly is to actually Think about all these processes that have to be done um, before we can actually land the wire. So think about it. Stripping, crimping. Crimping is a two-step process, of course. Take off the insulation and do the crimp itself. And finally, but not least, is actually adding the label. Uh, labels have to be added on both ends before we can actually now, once the wire is proceeded and done it can be landed and this is where i want to get to why don't we actually do this fabrication process up front let's rethink it okay now we have to uh, we need tricks and, and, and tools for this but let, let's talk about first the why we want to do this well number one let's rethink it a little bit right how do we do this how would we do this well rethinking it would be maybe prefabricating the wires up front because then you don't have to wait until the components are there until the labels are there until the assembly is done you can actually already prefabricate the wires then of course you have to do the mechanical assembly and finally process the wires and we have tools for this they're called actually the smart wiring so let me show you one of these tools here, how this looks like. So this tool, this smart wiring tool looks like this, okay? The, the idea, the primary idea was to actually show you where the routing is. But of course, the routing can only be done if the assembly is done. But interestingly enough is that you have here the information about the wire label here, the wire number, the length, the exact length, and why not use this in a fabrication mode up front. I'll show you here very quickly in a small company where we have exactly done this. So the first thing we do is of course, we cut and crimp. So here, uh, reading off of the smart wiring, we know exactly what the length is. We can cut and as you can see in a very comfortable ergonomic position we can crimp here we have semi-automatic machines it 
does take less time, of course, to have these automatic crimpers. And then we have to cross-check, see if this is good. And as this is done, then we take the label. Uh, basically can be wrapped around. Interesting trick here that I found from, from our friend is he uses basically the um, first portion of the wrap, puts it around, and there, as he does the first side, he also looks at the tool itself to see in which direction it's actually to be uh, labeled, because as you know, sometimes you have to put the label from left to right or from right to left, depending on where it's going into the component from the top or from the bottom. All of this kind of information is actually on the smart wiring. And of course, the smart wiring here does not necessarily serve us for the landing at this particular point in time. It just serves us as a recognition to what wire is done. Bingo, now he can proceed to the next wire. It's really a cool thing because when we think about it, and if we come back here, we really eliminate the whole fabrication um, of the wire up front, and then we proceed with the landing. Now, by reorganizing our work here and using smart wiring to actually help us during the fabrication and during the landing, we are actually in this particular company helping ourselves on the delivery time. Why? Because we don't longer wait for the assembly to be done up first. And what happens is that behind the scene, and this you have to know, is inside ePlan. So if I look at the ePlan tool itself here, you can see here we have the routing of that panel. So looking at the uh, panel itself, you know that inside ePlan, if you drill in, you can see here all the different wires. If I actually take this and show you just one component at the time, I can show you all the wires that have been done. So you can also take each wire individually and the wire length is actually calculated here. Now, some of you may ask yourself, how complex is it to do the wiring? It's really not that complex because most of the components that are here, most of them are from our data portal. And on the data portal, all the connection information and the details are actually on there for a good number of them. If they are not there, you can always do this uh, uh, connection specification yourself. It's quite interesting. And the exact length is actually provided by the fact that it is actually calculated. You can even add some extra length if you wish to, it's not really necessary. And the um, actually the benefit of this at the end of the day is also the filling capacity of these ducts and rails. Um, by having the exact length, you no longer overfill these ducts and rails. Now it is also possible to um, decide where the routing will go. So you can actually take a wire and say, you're not gonna route exactly this way, but you're gonna route through the other way. There are also some automatic mechanism to preset some specific filters. As you can see here, they are actually done where we say, okay, only the high voltage goes on the right-hand side and the low voltage most likely will then go through the left-hand side, has no filters. So 24 VDC most likely will be on the left-hand side. All the colors, the gauges, and the source and destination actually comes from the schematics. So in this tool here, the interesting thing is it's all under one platform. So being under one platform is you are in one environment. There is no synchronization to be done or anything. It's really super, super efficient. All the rest is, of course, benefits of ePlan and ProPanel itself. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this. I hope you see the benefits. As I said, the nice thing here is it can be served to actually help you do the wire fabrication as well as the wire landing. So if you're looking on how to land it afterwards, you can actually use this also for the landing. Smart wiring is absolutely great on the fabrication side. It even has a small uh, addition here called smart mount, where for one specific uh, 
panel like this, you can actually use it, you know, for the mounting. So each object one at the time is actually mentioned here. And the idea is, of course, to help you process with the assembly. If you have a fairly complex panel like this one here, it might be interesting to actually consider the smart mounting at the same time. So this was Roland Jung from ePlan showing you how you can use smart wiring, smart mounting up front to actually prefabricate the wires. And remember, the reason is to deliver Wednesday instead of Friday, just reorganizing your work. So you want to have a little bit more help there. Uh, we at Rital actually have this machine that can help. So this machine will actually prefabricate the wires for you. As of June, we will also be able to help you with a partner here that will take your data and will simply prefabricate the wires upfront for you, deliver them to you, and guaranteed with a quality crimp label printed on the wire, you will be able to just proceed with the landing. Okay, so get in contact with us, Plan Canada and we'll help you how to do this.